In totally coincidental, unrelated news, America's Health Insurance Plans, the national association that represents more than a thousand insurance companies, have just put out a list of talking points, the things they want real Americans to say at these town hall events. Here's your script, real people, written for you by the health insurance industry, which isn't trying to manufacture the appearance of grassroots opposition at all. If you don't feel like taking your talking points directly from the health insurance industry, how about a middleman? Like say the organization Freedom Works, which sounds really grassroots. They have now published their own August Recess Action Kit, your handy dandy guide for disrupting town hall meetings at a location near you. The kit actually begins with, Dear Friend of Freedom, and it provides suggested questions that you might ask your local congressman. There's also a very helpful Google Maps of uncoming, upcoming town hall events. This kit brought to you by the head of Freedom Works, of course, former Republican House Majority Leader Dick Armey. In addition to fronting that group, Dick Armey is a senior policy advisor at a law firm called DLA Piper. DLA Piper just happens to have received $830,000 this year so far from a giant pharmaceutical firm called called Medicines Company. This after the one and a half million dollars Medicines Company paid Mr. Army's firm last year. The fact that Dick Army and Freedom Works are standing alongside regular Joes like Rick Scott to lead the charge against healthcare reform? Could be just a coincidence. Or it could be a stark reminder of who we're dealing with here. Who is actively organizing the campaign against health care reform? Scaring real Americans with increasingly paranoid and kooky lies about health care and then providing them the script for how to express that fear. These are the pros, very well compensated pros. They do this all the time. It's a PR industry. It's a lobbying industry. And they have a clear vested financial interest in seeing that the health care industry is not reformed. Not now, not ever. What the prospect of healthcare reform is up against is a big, expensive corporate PR effort. And as I've said before, it should be reported as such.